on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, the workers of iniquity who follow the Satans are trying to find ways to enforce their delusional mythologies onto anyone who dare to step outside the box to find truth. When you explore the book of Enoch as well as the other books that were removed from the scriptures, demons from all walks of life manifest to discourage you to stop you from gaining truth. The Most High said, In the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The time has come for both species of mankind to understand. What is written will be fulfilled. The word of the Most High does not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Israelites, the truth that knowledge brings is doing exactly what the Most High said it would do, set you free. You are no longer controlled by the lies the Satans have used to deceive the whole world. Ever since the Most High has been increasing our knowledge with the book of Enoch as well as many other books, that was removed from the scriptures, people from every background want to come to preach and steer the people away from the truth that is being revealed in the messages. The workers of iniquity have been in control for so long and spent countless generations repeating the same lies that they believe their own lies. The fact that the awakening is challenging the made up stories they inserted into the word of the most high, the synagogue of Satan don't want to be exposed. The word of the most high said what is done in darkness will come to light. Everything hidden will be made known. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. It was a matter of time before the truth becomes mainstream. I have seen many comments from people trying to push the mythologies, the beast culture ingrained into the minds of the people who welcome and support the beast culture. Most of the fairy tales they spew don't make sense, nor do they have the word of the Most High to support their claims. There are many people who believe in these urban legends coming from the pulpit of the Satans and their followers. The sheep that believe every word that comes from the beast culture as truth don't comprehend that the word of the Most High is being fulfilled when it said, broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many are on that road. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. If the road to destruction is overpopulated, you would think that the sinners would realize they are on a dangerous road. Instead, they come to the remnant who don't accept their beliefs, nor support the beast culture, using the spirit of fear to get the remnant to join them on the broad road. Israelites, always remember, narrow is the road that leads to life. The scripture said only a few will find that road. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Israelites, there's only a remnant. The Most High said, this lifetime is for many. However, the next lifetime that is coming is for a few. Israelites, do not let the spirit of fear stop you from reading the book of Enoch and the other books that were removed. The people who removed those books do not have the authority to do so. 
The Most High would not allow Enoch and countless prophets see what is hidden. In addition, allow the prophets to see into the future and hide his words from his people. Enoch knew this would happen. That is why he told us that the workers of iniquity would pervert and alter the words of the Most High. Enoch went on to say they will speak wicked words and write books concerning their lies. And now I know this mystery that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways and will speak wicked words and lie and practice great deceits and write books concerning their words. The synagogue of Satan have countless books perverting the word of the Most High. They have written hundreds of books to support the lies, just as Enoch said many generations prior. Through these books, many people are believing the Greek mythologies based on biblical stories that are diluted with their perversions. The synagogue of Satan continue to alter the word of the Most High. Today, many people believe the false story of Eve sleeping with the serpent to produce Cain. The synagogue of Satan do not want you to know the real origin to the serpent seed. The people who spread these lies are practicing great deceit. On judgment day, their every words will come back to hunt them. Everyone must give an account to every word they have spoken. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. A lot of people forget that their life is being documented. Your words as well as your deeds are being recorded. Enoch said in chapter 1 of 4 of the word that when they begin to translate his writings truthfully in every language and distribute the word to the righteous, the righteous will believe and rejoice over them. The remnant will learn truth. But when they write down truthfully all my words in their languages and do not change or minish aught from my words, but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified concerning them, then I know another mystery that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. And to them shall the books be given, and they shall believe in them and rejoice over them. And then shall all the righteous who have learnt therefrom, all the path of uprightness be recompensed. Not too many awakened Israelites and so-called righteous people are receiving the truth the book of Enoch revealed, as well as the other so-called lost books with joy. Some are too afraid because they allow the synagogue of Satan to put doubts into their minds. Israelites, the Apocrypha and many other books that expose the Satans are just as altered as the Bible. If you accept the Bible with all of its alterations, what is preventing you from allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth that is hidden in the book of Enoch as well as the other books? The doubts the workers of iniquity inserted into your minds are poisonous. If the Most High is your teacher, let him teach you by renewing your minds and ordering your steps. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. If the Satans via the synagogue of Satan are your teachers and they order your steps, then continue to live in fear. To the remnant, do not let the spirit of fear disable you like it did with the people that are on the broad road that leads to destruction. Always remember, the Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Israelites, whenever doubt come into your mind, cast out that devil and ask the Most High to give you a double portion of his spirit. Israelites, if you let doubt take root into your mind, you will become unstable in everything that you do. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. I'm not afraid to explore the lost books in the book of Enoch. Open Diary is not limited to the Bible. Open Diary will explore the word of the Most High. 
The workers of iniquity are allowed to believe whatever they want. But when it comes to us examining and allowing the Most High to reveal truth, the truth becomes unacceptable. Some of us do not believe the beast system's fairy tales. The book of Enoch revealed to us that wisdom came to earth to make a home with the children of men. Because wisdom cannot find a place to dwell among the children of men, she went back and took her seat amongst the angels. I asked the Most High to send the spirit of wisdom back to earth and give me a double portion. No devil or lies coming from the synagogue of Satan is going to prevent me from reading the word of the Most High. Wisdom found no place where she might dwell. Then a dwelling place was assigned her in the heavens. Wisdom went forth to make her dwelling among the children of men and found no dwelling place. Wisdom returned to her place and took her seat among the angels. The thoughts of the synagogue of Satan are not my thoughts and their ways are not my ways. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people are operating in a place of fear. Choose this day whom you will serve. The Most High do not like a lukewarm person. It's either you serve the Most High or you serve the Satans. Israelites, the Most High said the downfall to our species is that we learn all the secrets of the fallen angels. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans, and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. The watchers taught their children all the hidden secrets. Through the knowledge learned from the watchers and the Satans, brought forth the downfall to Adam and his seed. The book of Enoch said the angels descend to the earth and reveal what was hidden to the children of men. They seduced the children of men into committing sin. Even if Adam and Eve did not commit sin in the garden, the fallen angels who rebel against the Most High would have seduced their children. Before Adam was created, the fallen angels who rebel against the Most High were already here. Satan targeted and tried to seduce Abel, Seth, and Cain after deceiving Adam and Eve in the garden. Satan was only successful with Cain because Cain had a hard heart. I heard the voice of the angel saying, These are the angels who descended to the earth and revealed what was hidden to the children of men and seduced the children of men into committing sin. Today, the Satans and their children continue to seduce the children of men, the indigenous black people, to follow them with their abominations. The violence mankind know, they learn from the fallen watchers. The book of Enoch revealed what each leader of the fallen watchers taught to destroy the earth. So far, we learned that Azazel is responsible for all the unrighteousness brought to earth from the fallen watchers. Last week, you learned what each Satan taught their children that brought corruption to the earth. The Satan, Pinemu, taught the children of men the secret of their wisdom, as well as how to write with paper and ink. And the fourth was named Pinemu. He taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom. And he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned, from eternity to eternity and until this day. Some people may not see the evil in what the Satan Pinamu have taught mankind. According to the book of Enoch, learning how to write the abominations learned from the Satans is a great sin. Through the false wisdom of this world, many people are led astray. The synagogue of Satan was able to alter the word of the Most High because the workers of iniquity learn how to write. Many books were written by the workers of iniquity to seduce mankind to continue in the Satan's rebellion. Witchcraft, sorcery, idolatry, and more wickedness transfer from generation to generation because the children of men learn how to write. Through the abominations the Satan and Pinamu taught mankind allowed Kinam to find the abominable writings from prior generations written on a wall of the fallen watchers' secrets.
He called his name Kenam, and the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. And he found a writing which former generations had carved on the rock, and he read what was thereon, and he transcribed it in sin owing to it. For it contained the teachings of the watchers in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and moon and stars and all the signs of heaven. And he wrote it down and said nothing regarding it. For he was afraid to speak to Noah about it, lest he should be angry with him on account of it. In addition to learning how to write with paper and ink, the wisdom Adam and Eve gained from eating from the forbidden tree destroyed them. The wisdom that stems from the fallen watchers brought death to Adam and Eve and their children. The wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of the Most High. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Israelites, that is why the Most High must renew your mind if you want real wisdom and understanding of the word of the Most High. The Messiah said you have to be born again to enter the kingdom of the Most High. The wisdom of this world will bring destruction to your life because the wisdom of this world is rooted in corruption. With the children of men, knowing the secrets to their wisdom, they are perishing. For men were not created for such a purpose, to give confirmation to their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous, and death, which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of them. But through this, their knowledge, they are perishing, and through this power, it is consuming me. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The Satan Castigia, also known as Tamil, is responsible for teaching mankind how to abort babies, as well as how to summon demons and spirits. And the fifth was named Castigia. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smiting of spirits and demons, and the smiting of the embryo in the womb, that it may pass away, and the smiting of the soul, the bites of the serpent, and the smiting which befall through the noontide heat, the son of the serpent named Tibet. Presently in this generation, the synagogue of Satan is trying to regulate abortions by banning abortions. When this news hit the public, many women and men were angry. The women who were angry did not want the government to tell them what to do with their bodies. I bet majority of the people who dislike the government's decisions on abortion are also religious. I can't tell you how many people I've heard say they hate the ban on abortion, and many of these people say they love the Most High. The word of the Most High was correct when it said, They love me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. The word of the Most High said, The fallen watcher, Castigia, taught mankind how to abort babies and summon demons and spirits. Abortion is not a gift or a talent the Most High gave to mankind. Israelites, don't be deceived by the government's gesture to overturn what they permitted for many generations. Don't be deceived by their fake act of goodness. If the nations served the Most High, the laws of the Most High would be supreme in their countries. Instead, man-made laws are supreme. The workers of iniquity ban abortions because they need to increase the hybrids population. The seed of the fallen are dying at an alarming rate with the plagues they intended to destroy the indigenous black people with. Their propaganda to use the alphabet community to lower the indigenous black people's population backfired. They must increase their numbers to continue to evolve. Last week you learned Simjaza led the 200 of Mount Hermon to take an oath. And Samjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, 
I fear ye will not indeed agree to this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred who descend in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they call it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. The Satan, Semjaza, is also responsible for teaching mankind to do witchcraft, astrology, and plenty more. Samjaza taught enchantments and root cutting, the resolving of enchantments, astrology, the constellation, the knowledge of the clouds, the signs of the earth, the signs of the sun, and the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried and their cry went up to heaven. Israelites, do not mistake the evil learned in the beast culture for the gifts and talents the Most High gave to his people to serve each other. The Most High would not give his people the gift and talent to summon demons, practice idolatry, abortions, and creating weapons to kill each other. All the evil men learned came from the fallen watchers. The purpose of the fallen watchers' teachings is to destroy. The gifts and talents the Most High gave to his people is to further the kingdom of the Most High. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. The witchcraft and sorcery Samjaza taught mankind is destroying the lives of people everywhere. The workers of iniquity use enchantment, divination, and sorcery to steal from you. Most witchcraft attacks are done in the spirit realm. Your dream life would reveal if you're under witchcraft attack. The Most High hate the sin of witchcraft. Yah said a witch should not live. He also said any one of his people who practice witchcraft and idolatry should be put to death. He would also cut them off from among his people. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, and the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a-whoring after them. I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. A man also, or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. The abominations the watchers taught were horrible. That is why we are suffering on this earth. The weapons of war, idolatry, technology, sorcery, astrology, GMOs, and many more wickedness. Mankind are using the teachings of the watchers to destroy themselves, and the chief of the watchers are responsible. The Most High bound all the Satans, the chief of the watchers in the fifth heaven. All of them seek forgiveness. None of their sins will be forgiven. Their children that came from them are buried in the valley of the earth. And they besought me to draw up a petition for them that they might find forgiveness and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward, they could not speak with him, nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. And when their sons have slain one another and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, Bind them fast for seventy generations in the valley of the earth till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire and to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined forever. The hybrids are always digging up the remains of the dead, looking for what they believe is treasure. They have found the bodies of their ancestors who are buried in the earth, the Nephilim giants. The rest of the Nephilim Nehendathals that are not a part of the tenth that remain, they are bound in the valley of the earth until judgment day. The synagogue of Satan may turn to find their fathers. The Most High said the children of the watchers have wronged his people. The descendants of the fallen continue to wrong the children of men, the indigenous black people until today. And destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers, because they have wronged mankind. The Most High reserved Tartarus for them, all the fallen watchers who connected themselves with women and destroy the earth. 
They are held in prison until judgment day. The holy angel Uriel is the angel over Tartarus. And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world and over Tartarus. The Satan, Satanel, is not bound. He continued to deceive the nations until today. The Bible says Satanel will not be in prison until the Messiah's millennial reign. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed a little season. The watchers allow lust to have its way. If the watchers would have done what they were created to do, which is watch over the children of men, they wouldn't be bound in torment. Because the fallen watchers allow lust to penetrate their hearts, they sin a great sin. In addition to their lust, the watchers wanted to have children made in their image, just like the Most High created Adam in his image. The Most High said to the fallen watchers who delighted in their children, they would watch their children destroy themselves. And to Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates and against the children of fornication and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men and cause them to go forth. Send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in battle for length of days shall they not have. The murder of their beloved ones shall they see, and over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity, but mercy and peace shall ye not attain. Due to pride, the fallen angels led by the Satans rebel against the Most High. The watchers led the children of men, the descendants of Adam, into their rebellion. The Most High granted Adam and his seed salvation. The Most High did not grant the fallen angels and the watchers' children salvation. Israelites and indigenous black people, that is why you are hated. That is why the hybrids kill you with no remorse. The fallen watchers and their children's fate have been sealed. But Satan, the hater of all good, thought within himself, whereas God has promised salvation to Adam by covenant, and that he would deliver him out of all the hardship that have befallen him, but has not promised me by covenant, and will not deliver me out of my hardship. Nay, since he has promised him that he should make him and his seed dwell in the kingdom in which I once was, I will kill Adam. The earth shall be rid of him and shall be left to me alone, so that when he is dead, he may not have any seed left to inherit the kingdom that shall remain my own realm. God will then be in want of me, and he will restore me to it with my hosts. Again, he said, and as much as we do not know the day agreed upon with thee by thy God, nor the hour in which thou shalt be delivered, for that reason will we multiply war and murder upon thee and thy seed after thee. Every time I see an indigenous black person cry because of the way they are being treated in the beast system bothers me. Some indigenous black people feel hopeless because they are unaware of the crime they've committed for the other species of mankind to hate them like they do. Many indigenous black people are led to believe racism and the color of their skin is the reason for the hatred against them. That is false. It is because you are a peculiar people, the people of the Most High, the descendants of Adam. Salvation was given to you and not to them. They have conspired against you, and they are confederate against you. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. You need to know who your enemies are to better understand your environment. You cannot produce righteousness from a corrupt seed. Just as the scripture said, a rotten tree cannot produce good fruits. The watcher's children's foundation is rooted in sin. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 
The seed of the fallen time to reign is now until the times of the heathens are over. The children of the fallen watchers, heaven is here on earth. That is why they exclude you from everything, indigenous black people. What is reserved for them in eternity is torment. Salvation was not granted to the watchers and their seed. Israelites and indigenous black people, salvation was given to you. You spent your entire life in prison on earth. The Most High promised you eternity in paradise, the Garden of Eden, your original home. The life you live on earth will determine where you spend eternity. Indigenous black people, you spent your entire life suffering on earth. Do not suffer in eternity with the fallen angels who misled you on earth. Repent, for the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. In that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Most High has his plans for his creatures, and the fallen angels had another plan. The Most High is the only Alpha and the Omega. There is none that is equal to him. The Most High will always be supreme. By now, all of the Most High created creatures should know the Most High is not sharing his glory with anyone. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Israelites and indigenous black people, the fallen watchers made up in their mind to follow the fallen ones. The fallen angels allowed pride to deceive them. The judgment against the watchers are just because the Most High said that is the penalty for their rebellion. The people of the Most High have an opportunity to be redeemed. Israelites and indigenous black people, allow the Most High to redeem you. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant, I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I am blotted out as a thick cloud, thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob, and glorified himself in Israel.